We're just gonna place our lean ground beef into our skillet. Let's chop that up. Okay, once this gets nice and chopped up like you like, we're gonna add a little bit of spice. We're gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. We're not gonna season this too much because we are gonna season this later on, but just a little bit of Italian seasoning. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. We're seasoning this right now because while this meat is still red, those spices will really cook into that meat and get nice and seasoned. Now that our meat is almost fully cooked, we're gonna come in with some garlic and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons worth of garlic. I'm also gonna come in with some chopped onions. You can use fresh onions if you like, but just for time's sake, I'm gonna use frozen. And now we're just gonna set this aside and bring in our other ingredients. Now we're gonna take a 45 ounce can of pasta sauce and we're gonna pour all of that in there. Just like that. Then we're gonna take the meat that we just cooked and we're gonna put all of that in there as well. And then we just cooked these noodles and we're gonna place those also in the pot with our meat and our pasta. And now I'm just gonna stir this all up. You wanna make sure that all this pasta gets nice and coated with that pasta sauce and that meat. Okay, now I'm gonna take half a block of cream cheese. I left this out just a little bit so it could get nice and soft. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with some ricotta cheese and we're just gonna add two big spoonfuls of this. Actually, I'm just gonna add the rest of this container. It was about half full. And then we're just gonna give this a really good mix. We wanna make sure that cream cheese gets nice and broken up so it's easy to put into our spaghetti. Okay, so now it's nice and stirred up. I did add a little bit more cream cheese just because I did have a lot of ricotta in there and I didn't realize that until I started mixing it. So now we're gonna take this back over to our spaghetti and we're just gonna take this mixture and we're just gonna place it all around our spaghetti. This is such a vital ingredient, it adds so much flavor. And then we're just gonna take our spoon and we're just gonna mix in that ricotta cheese and that cream cheese. And this is gonna give it the most creamiest, delicious flavor that you will ever have. And I promise you guys, you will not make spaghetti the same anymore. And then I said we were gonna come back in with the spices, so we're just gonna come back in with that Italian seasoning and place just a little bit on top. Gonna add a little bit of pepper, not too much. And then we're just gonna come in with just a little bit of salt. You don't wanna add too much. And then before we put that lid on, we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese right on top. Now we're not gonna mix this in with the spaghetti. We're just gonna let this cook right on top of it and get a nice cheesy crust. Now we're just gonna put this on and we're gonna let this cook for about three hours on high. All right guys, our spaghetti is finally done cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and take this lid off and look at that. That cheese melted perfectly on top. You can see how good the noodles cooked. I bet those noodles cooked to perfection. Let's go ahead and give this like a mix. Oh yeah, this just sounds creamy. It looks creamy. And guys, it smells absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my bowl. And guys, just look how good this looks. It looks so cheesy, so creamy. And those noodles cooked perfectly. I can already just tell that those are perfectly cooked. And guys, I cannot recommend this enough. This is the $1 million spaghetti, but made in the crock pot instead of a casserole dish. You guys have to try it. I highly recommend 10 out of 10.